carrying on from just a second ago when we were interviewing Pete but we lost the signal. Um, we're back, we're just doing a, a video now which we'll post straight afterwards. So, um, as you were, so this is Pete and this is um, Cotswold Letterpress and you were showing us this amazing picture and um, about to point out some yeah, interesting sure. things. This is when, uh, hi there with <laughs> I'm Pete and this is a picture of four, uh, King Edward in 1470 when movable type like this was invented and brought to this country and brought reading to the masses. And this is sort of cartoon type thing. You've got the priest here, or the monk, who's seen his, his living disappear because type it, typesetting was going to make him obsolete. We've got chaps here fascinated. This gentleman says, saying he's smirking, thinking like, it'll never catch on, <laughs> right? You've got the king here and his children, and the printer's devil, is a young man who does everything, <laughs> called the printer's devil, that's what he was called. Caxton, you've got the money lender here who funded it, rubbing his, rubbing hands. his hands together in glee, thinking, oh my God, I'm in for fortune here. This is the Inca man who pads the ink onto the type here when it's wound through for every impression. It's wound back, the handle's pulled and the print is taken. Okay? This guy here is keeping his head out of the way. This man is a compositor doing exactly what I'm doing here. And I learnt this in 1963. There's 500 years mm. exactly the same. It didn't change. Amazing. And then, obviously, this chap's saying, get on with it. There's one guy here saying, don't look at the king. If you get caught <laughs> doing that, you're in deep trouble. <laughs> so it's a great composition. It is. Fantastic. An, an, an imaginative composition. I love it, yeah. So I've been involved in something that's 500 years old or and longer. Is it, is it true to say that you've recently won an award? Oh, thank you for that. <coughs> We've been awarded one of the top 15 um, hidden gems of Gloucestershire. Mm. So uh, I'm quite proud of that. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well, it's interesting. It is, yeah. yes. Would you say that it was a, it had been a dying art that is now being oh, revived? Definitely. It died out in the 1980s. Everything was you know, high tech. But uh, it's come back. People like it. Mm because there's an impression. It's the only way you can get a, a de a, like a cut into the card mm -hmm. from a three-dimensional device. Lithographic printing and digital is flat. Mm. Whereas this, you can actually feel, feel the quality. Yeah. I've never known that. Feel, feel the width, do you remember that? Um, yes. <laughs> no, I'm the quality. Never mind the things, feel the width. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> but it's to do with the paper as well, presumably. Oh, absolutely. We have tons of different papers, handmade out of Sparta grass and all sorts of things like that. Rice. Um, What's your best your paper that you love best? Um, oh, God, handmade milled paper, right, from old fashioned mills in Somerset. Oh. And but is we that also still available? Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's very expensive. Yeah. Um, but. We also do 10,000 letterheads a month for one insurance company. So we're doing big commercial stuff mm -hmm. on our other presses. Mm -hmm. But the stuff I love, obviously, to you, is what I'm, you're saying here and today. Good. So can we go through and have a look at yeah, the Yeah, I've, yeah, the I've set something up for you. Yes. Oh, yeah. fantastic. I'm going to cut that I'll and follow, follow, you. follow you. We'll follow you yeah. through. I'll mind that door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Can you come through? Yeah. Minus that. Hello. All right. This is Dave, my colleague. Hello, Dave. Hi. 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 He's the man with the magic. Um, so these machines, how old are these machines? What this is a 19, 1948. Wow. And that one is a 1950. Exactly the same, except this one does hot foil printing. 
it's an adaptation of that machine. And that does letterpress printing. They're both original Heidelbergs, as you can see. That's the name of the company. They must they're weigh a, a huge amount. They, they weigh a ton, exactly. Do they really? Yeah. Not each, obviously. Yeah. yeah. They're the same price for 30 years, 1940 How? to 1970. How on earth did you get them through that narrow passageway? <laughs> oh, Dave did it. Did he? He's a, a big strong boy. <laughs> no, we, they came into bits. They had to. It took, it took two days to get them in here. Wow. And... Uh, they're fabulous machines. Typical German engineering. It's considered it's just after the war they were built. Uh, they got their act together pretty quickly. But which one do you want to do first, Dave? Okay, let's watch the letter. This is called the letter first. I'll get round the back here, out of the way. What we've got, I'm just explaining, Dave. There's a printing plate there, which is a modern version of the type I was showing you earlier. It's ma magnetically attached to this block. The ink is on the rollers, obviously, and somehow we've got to get the card in front of that, pressed against it, and delivered, and another card. So that you'll see exactly what happens now. Okay, then. automatically feeds this gold foil. You can see the gold there. That on looks this side. delicate. It is. This side is the glued side and it's heat sensitive glue and when the plate underneath that presses against the card, presses the foil against the card, it leaves the gold on the card and the foil advances. Mm -hmm. So it weighs a heck of a lot as you can see. Yes. It's just all, all we're using is that words there. Okay so uh, here we go. Yeah, watch this first. Oh. So oh. oh. yes. so you could have that and then you could use one of those white pens. And yep. write your little message on it. It'd be so classy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. And do you do matching envelopes and things? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. That's, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We use uh, white, white foil as well. I can't show you the name, obviously. No. It's suddenly quite well known. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Absolutely so gorgeous. There's yeah. endless yeah. colours. <laughs> We've got endless colours. Uh, so out of the whole game, the whole uh, business, is this your favourite bit? For oh, both without of you? a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. So, so do you, think you see it happening, can't you? I mean, it's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. Is is it like you know when you set up a printer and you say print fifty and you can't turn it off, yeah. and it prints fifty whether you try to desperately yeah, stop I know. it and it I've won't. I've seen that happen. Does yeah. that happen with this? No, you just stop it like that. Oh, just, so you get to. It's be all levers and things. There's, when, when this goes wrong, which is incredibly rare, we get a blacksmith thing. We don't get an IT engineer. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, we get real engineers in who, also, you know, 
the real 1990 character. So do you have an apprentice, a youngster, who's I in the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, He's Dave, I, tw- I didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> He's only 21. Because Dave's working but yeah, we have had. We don't want it to get lost with, uh, you know, in the no, future, do we? No. It's like, I've, I've, young people I've taught to do this have gone on to other things. And, uh, but yeah, we've had apprentices. It must be quite a rare skill now to know how to. Well, use it is. This yeah, machine. it's yeah, it's putting the type together is the big skill bit because you've got to do it in such a way that it doesn't fall over the floor when you pick it up. And uh, I've got some out there. It's called printer's pie. When when all the type gets mixed up and falls on the floor. It's called printer's pie. Don't ask me why there's some strange termination in printing. I'm the father of this chapel, aren't I, Dave? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Printers were in chapels back in the 15th century, and the f- I was the far. I'm the father of this one. And we, when I was an apprentice, we called our boss father. Oh, really? It's that, it's that nice. ancient. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. These are stones. This is 19th century stone. It's we call it a stone, but it's a metal, solid metal flat mm-hmm. surface. Um, this is all called furniture. Uh, composing stick. Why is it called a stick? It's made of metal. You know, it, yeah. it's <laughs> just weird. So, Excellent. what about the inks and things that you use? Um, uh, well, uh, they're rubber based, um, as green as they can be. Right. You know what I mean? And they're non pollutant. But it, can you smell an ink in here? Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, it yeah. smells gorgeous. It I is, love isn't it? the yeah. smell of petrol and tarmac. And yeah, this tarmac's has given me great. some <laughs> really nice things. Somebody actually said to me, do you ever use methyl ethyl ketone? <laughs> no. 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 That's been, a shame. It's, it's, it's been banned. Was it? Banned. Was it? Yes. It's banned by the, uh, was really, really yeah. heady Bad stuff. Yeah. Ooh, yes, it's I'd have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. MEK, that's M-E-K, what it is, yeah. It is. We used yeah. to use it in the old days. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, it was banned. No, but the smell in here is lovely. I, I really like it. Yeah. You're probably not so keen because you're a bit asthmatic, <laughs> yeah. aren't you? But, yeah. Um, yeah. So can we ask you how old you are? Is that permitted? Yes, I'm, I'm 75 and a half. Wow. 75 yeah. and a half. Yeah. And you're as enthusiastic now as when you first started. Absolutely, yeah. That's I, fantastic. I had two minutes with the youth employment officer. He said, you've got English and art compositor. Next. And I said, what's that? I said, what's the composite? He says, something to do with printing. He said, it's from a printer, so go and see what they want. He didn't know what he was sending me out to be a compositor. Yeah? <laughs> I, he didn't know what a compositor was. No. So I was just dead lucky. Yes. Well, congratulations on your yeah. business. Thank and you. And if we um, wanted to find you on the internet, what do we look for? A uh, Cotswold Letterpress. Cotswold Letterpress. Yeah. Well, I think we'll... Um, yes. Finished with that bit of information. Smashing. Thank you very much for sharing today. And thanks, uh, Jenny. Yeah, yeah. hopefully uh, any visitors to Wooten can come and find oh, you. Oh yeah, I'd love showing you on these. the top of the high street. Yeah, next okay. to the chip shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Bye Thank for now. So Bye. Bye. Bye now.